Did you know there was a hockey team in Phoenix long before the Coyotes? Yep, there was a team in Phoenix, British Columbia, a mining town that's now a ghost town, and the team was good enough to contemplate a challenge for the Stanley Cup back in 1911. That is history. One account of a road trip in the local newspaper, the Phoenix Pioneer from that era, chronicled how the boys had won their games and returned home on the train with much glee. I think I know what they were up to. That's tradition. Sometimes in our hockey world, we get history and tradition tangled up, and that can get in the way of moving forward. For example, history tells us that in the 1920s, it was decided it'd be a really good idea to have a hockey net. So the size was set at six by four feet, just as it is today. And the great goaltenders of the time, George Vesna and Hainsworth, were five foot six. Almost a hundred years later, we're trying to shrink the goalies because some people don't want to mess with the traditional size of the net, yet the goaltenders are six foot six. Now, don't you think that if we added a couple of inches to the size of the net, even Art Ross would find that acceptable? History is fact. It happened, but we can move forward with changes. Traditions, we usually stick with them, but they need not be based on any sort of logic. History was witnessed at the All-Star Game. The very best players ever to play in the NHL, all on the ice at the same time, all in their time in history, capable of single-handedly changing a game. Tradition means they were all humble, said the other guy was better, and they were just part of a team. Tradition is the playoff beard. History is what's lodged in Brent Burns' beard from when he started it. Or is that archaeology? History's a hat, a Biltmore that was awarded to a player who scored three goals 60 years ago. Tradition is for everyone to throw their perfectly good cap on the ice when a player scores three. Except in the case of Daniel Sedin, who found out one night in Vancouver that sometimes Canadians value their caps so much they put them on power lock. Tradition is cheering and roaring through the anthem in Chicago. History is what the canon in Columbus should be. History's the split decision to end games with overtime or a shootout and eliminate the unique good old tie, but play all night if need be in the playoffs. Tradition is a day with the cup, don't touch it till you win it, and every game has to have not one, but three stars. History's to be studied, understood, often celebrated, but not always. Remember when the game got to this? What's the old saying? If you can't remember the past, you're condemned to repeat it. History is what we learn. Tradition is what we love about the game. But let's not confuse the two. We can respect the history of the game and still make changes so that it's better. Tradition? Don't ever try and make sense of that. For Hockey Day in Canada, I'm Jim Hewson.